The secret to a lifelong romance might come down to a love letter, but not just one, one every day for 39 years. In your Feel Good Friday, the more than 16,000 ways a man has told his wife he loves her. May God grant that I'll never see any other in your eyes and heart but me. Since 1972, Martha has been the only woman in Ronald's heart. I want to live the dreams that others can only fantasize about. And for 47 years, I will try to be the best husband I can. He's written her love letter after love letter to prove it. I think I finally figured out the 16,227 as of this morning. Oh my goodness. And Martha's kept every single one. Well, they're very, very special and they bring back a lot of, you know, good memories and, you know, happy times and things that we did. Most were handwritten. My father used to sell typewriters. So I typed the first page or two here. When he didn't have ink, he got creative. And so I began to cut letters out of magazines. But they never stopped. In these stacks at the Gravitz Buena Vista home sit nearly 2,000 love letters all written while they were still dating. Oh, I loved it. I loved going to my mailbox and having something there and he, he made me feel very special. Yeah, I mean, have you ever, have you ever gone to your college mailbox and found it empty? She never did. No. <laughs> this one's the first. We had been to see your good man, Charlie Brown, yes, together. Right, and, so. and uh, so I wrote this thing and it says, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give unto thee. A love so strong, he never stopped writing, not even on their wedding night. And so on Hotel Roanoke Stationery, the letter that was written for August the 2nd, our wedding day, began and it hasn't stopped since. Since that night, he's written one every single day for 39 years. It sounds crazy, I guess, but that's what she asked for. <laughs> and, and it seemed like something that I could do, and so I did. <laughs> I guess I'd just been spoiled by it. <laughs> Didn't want it to end. I just wanted it to go on. In 1972, stamps were only eight cents. A lot's changed since then, but one thing remains the same. It is quite a tradition. Yeah. And, uh, as I said, I, I just know it's always going to be there. It's just there a, is, it there really is no is just lapse. A part of our, it's just a part of our, our, our lives man, yeah. now. I don't know. I guess a lot of people have maybe have traditions. I don't know. They maybe have a cup of coffee together at the end of the meal or something like that, and maybe they just do that every day, and that's or a glass of wine or something. But we have a letter to share. Just so oh, incredible, yeah. and they have all of those letters in their home still, which that is that's amazing. amazing. Quite a collection. Mm -hmm. Wow! And now the love letter streak could actually be a Guinness World of Records title holder, but because each letter wasn't mailed with a proof of date, you can't verify that. Oh. But he did make it into a Ripley's Believe It or Not cartoon in 1981 <laughs> when they got married. I have that posted on my Facebook page. They're just incredible. Oh, though. my wow. gosh. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. And if you have a Feel Good Friday story for Rachel, send her a message. She's going to be looking for more of yes. those. Yeah. I love these stories. Yeah. <laughs>